it's seven o'clock, I'll call the meeting to order. Before adopting the agenda, I would like to make a suggestion that we take 12.1 rural internet in camera and we bring it up to 5.2 as business arising from previous meetings. I would also like to mention there are a couple of errors on the agenda and they've been corrected. S that being said, a motion would be in order proposed by Danny. Insurance policy would be 12.1 and 12.2 would be Firefighters Association. So 12. Point so we need a motion for the adoption of the agenda proposed by Danny, seconded by Hector. All in favor? Against? Carried. Are there any items on the agenda that could engender a conflict of interest. If there are none, there are no presentations this evening. We move to adoption of meetings. 4.1 November 16th, 2016, regular council meeting. Are there any errors or omissions? Uh, there being none, a motion to adopt would be in order. Moved by Danny, seconded by Evo, second. All in favor? against carried 4.2 7th of December uh, council in committee meeting are there any errors or omissions moved by Neil seconded by Carl all in favor say aye contrary minded nay carried 5 business arising from previous meetings 5.1 EMO Council Orientation, Province of Nova Scotia. Uh, talking with our EMO uh, coordinator, I was informed that uh, the province in the month of January will begin uh, visiting around the province, the various municipal councils, to uh, do um, se training sessions concerning the level of service offered by EMO. This is something that will take about an hour, an hour and a half. As I understand it, they would like to meet us in January and would like us to suggest a date. I w thought of, of uh, suggesting a Wednesday uh, when we don't have a meeting. That would be, for example, the 18th. We could perhaps meet on that evening. The name of the gentleman is Andrew Mitten. If you're in agreement, I would oppose uh, the 18th of January. And if it doesn't work, we'll try to find another uh, date. Are you all in agreement with that date? 5.2 Rural Internet. To uh, do the follow-up on the file, a group of uh, 10 municipalities are working together <coughs> to uh, file a, uh, an application with the federal government. We decided to work together as a group. Other members, some members have gone individually since that time. <coughs> we've been approached by the Western Region Enterprise Network to see if we could work with them in a smaller group. <coughs> Basically, the municipalities that are part of the territory uh, covered by the REN would file a rec an application with the government. In the, gov in the document which was circulated, the critical points, as the REN sees them, are indicated. We went to a conference two weeks ago, mainly the general directors of the uh, municipalities as to whether it was the will 
of the group to work together on this. The REN proposes in its document three possible solutions. This isn't to say that the solution will necessarily be one of them. So we want to talk about the different possibilities to see what the preference of the municipalities around the table might be. Uh, among the members of the group, there it was considered to be essential to have fiber optics, whatever the solution uh, adopted. The purpose of the discussion uh, was to determine what the level of improvement in the service which would be sought. What the group is mainly interested in is to have a service at a certain level. So the solution and the, que the question we'll ask then is whether the proposed solution will help us get there. For this exercise, it's a question of working together uh, to hire experts to have access to the information we need. The discussion uh, is whether are we ready to go ahead as a group of five municipalities and the REN and to put money on the table. The figure which was mentioned was a mention of 20,000 per municipality to allow, allow us to go ahead with this exercise. This would involve hiring a consultant or a firm of consultants to uh, uh, do the analysis, develop the application and the request for funds in consultation, in collaboration with the private sector. And this would be done by the 13th of March, which is the uh, deadline announced by the federal government. That's the envelope of 500,000 for these projects, 500 million. This, so, so the money mentioned would help us uh, hire the expert. Uh, to date, the municipality of Digby has passed a motion accepting to go this way to put 20,000 on the table. Yarmouth and Argyle have passed similar motions. Barrington uh, seem to be interested. They will be meeting in January to take the decision and the Wren is ready to put 20,000. Uh, it just has to pass their uh, board of uh, their administrative board the final date to uh, make the application is on the 13th of March, so we have to go ahead pretty quickly uh, in identifying what the best solution is for the region and for Clare. So this evening, my recommendation is to form uh, a motion that we would uh, work with the other municipalities and that we are ready to put uh, money up to and including $20,000 towards this. This 20000 is eligible as a gas tax project so that we do have uh, money in reserve for that. That's if we want to use it for that. Is there anything you want to uh, add? I'm not sure if you've had uh, the opportunity of looking at the news this evening, but a lot of the discussion that's taken place uh, concerns the speed of internet, and the CRTC has just announced at 5 o'clock that uh, broadband is a, an essential service, and there's a, a fund that's being set up for 70, $750 million for the coming five years, which will uh, add to the $500 million uh, of the federal government. And uh, this would be up to 25 megabytes per second for download and uh, something similar for upload. Now the target for Canada is 50 for down downlight and 10 for upload.
this is what we have to target. So even what was discussed at the REN, we'll have to look at it because there are technologies that can go to sync on megabytes. It says that 82% of Canada has already these speeds. We're just only 10% of Canada that doesn't have these. And if you look at the map that came out with the criteria, the broadband criteria, Southwest Nova Scotia has the worst uh, internet service in Canada, Atlant Atlantic Canada. So no doubt we have an argument to bring forth to have better internet services. If you look at the map, just the one in Nova Scotia, it's the southwest Nova Scotia and Shitikan that are not as up to date. What is the the speed we have now? They say at my house, I think uh, point seven five or cent eight. We're supposed to have five East Link. I know wireless East Link. They sell it as five megabytes per second. But I, I know uh, when you do the test, it's 0 0.7 or 1.5. So what they're looking is 50, which is a humongous change. I would uh, my support uh, Stefan's. Uh, uh, so I think we have a chance to fix this, and if we don't do it, uh, if we don't do it, the others will go forward and we'll be left behind. Maybe I could add to this if we come arrive at getting this maybe the businesses will come more uh, here to establish here because now when they see what kind of uh, uh, system we have we're here they, they're gonna say that it's not fast enough for them so I support the motion also do you want to make a motion yes I'd like to make the recommendation that Stefan mentioned that we go to $20,000 from the gas tax funds towards the uh, working with the other municipalities and the REN. But essentially, if I have it here if you Seconded by Danny. Is there any discussion on this motion? There's been meetings. It will have to move quite fast. But I have a suggestion, which I think is this is very important for the municipality of Clare. I think each municipality have their own challenges. So if we can, in one way or another, <coughs> that there should be a. Uh, committee to tr try to determine what the municipality is looking for as far as internet services. We are a big group, but I we don't shouldn't get lost within the overall group. So uh, even it would cost a little bit in infrastructure, but at least this is the service that we should ask so that the uh, people would come and work with us to determine what are our needs. And I'm sure most of the municipalities will uh, will want this to be done in their municipalities. Uh, where there's the density of the population, the geographical aspect. Uh, there's 40 variables. The solution for Argyle would be very similar to ours, but there are a few nuances that had have to be looked at. Is there any other discussion on this motion? Maybe add also that if it passes that I think they will be building many towers. They will probably favor for favor those that will be oriented for cell phones. There are some that don't work well, like in Danny's 
area. So if we have towers everywhere, I hope that we'll have some every. I'm not an expert and I don't know all the details, but if you look at the map, essentially where they say that the backbone will go through in our municipality, it cannot pass on the uh, highway one. So if you look at the map, I don't know where it's gonna pass. Maybe on the 340 or in those roads. If we do the backbone as it is defined today, the backbone will be somewhere in the back roads, which is probably a good thing because even if the customers are more on the ocean side, so it will uh, force the providers to uh, to offer a better service f as information. The criteria of the projects that are financed financed by this project uh, must be completed before the March 2021. So it will go relatively fast. So uh, we look at. Uh, we're looking at different roads where this will pass, which is good. If there are no more questions on this motion, are, are you ready for the question? All those in favor indicate by saying yes, against, motion carried. You go to numbers, uh, number six. And no November 21st, we had a meeting of Highway 101 Committee, which was held in the municipal office in Digby with the RI and Gordon Wilson and a lot of public people. And the CAO, it was a good meeting. It was an update to explain to us that it will come in the new year, start in the two year. It, it will be a long-term project <coughs> because they have to acquire the land and cut trees and cut the uh, the road. There's the intersection that's going to be done in Digby. There's be a roundabout that will be built there. Uh, November 22nd, I had a m meeting at the villa with Gordon Wilson, Lucien Maya, and the president, Marcel Cotro, to start the discussion on replacing the villa and Brian will talk a bit about this on his report later on that same evening we had a meeting of the the, the board and the 25th of November we had a meeting in Webet with Gordon Wilson and uh, with the wardens from Digby to discuss what's going on in our regions if there were any projects that our forthcoming, and he's uh, quite aware of the projects that are being worked on. On November 27th, I went to the uh, fire bins uh, banquet. It's always a nice evening, well organized. And on this uh, December 13th, there was a meeting here for the planning committee uh, to do an update on the work that was done on the protection of the watersheds and we will talk about this later on. This is uh, uh, my report and I was also invited. paul Emile Leblanc had a ceremony for his retirement and Brian went and present him a certificate in the name of the municipality. I think it was important to be there because Paul Emil has given a lot to his community. And it's good that the council recognizes his work. Do you have any questions? O official statements from members of council. Hector, I would like to wish a uh, happy birthday to Victor Thibodeau for 102. I visited all the persons who went to the Petit Bois. Thank you.
Thank you, Hector. Carl. Thank you, Mr. Warden. A uh, small word for the Bay Angeois on the 18th of December. They presented, the Bay Angeois presented the Christmas concert. They work really hard and they devote a lot of time to practicing and they work, represent the community uh, outside and within the region. So I want to thank the Bay Angeois and I want to wish Merry Christmas to all the citizens of uh, Clare on my own behalf and my wife's. Are, th are there any other statements? They're being done. We go to correspondence. Let from the Conseil des Arts de, de la Baie. Uh, we received a letter dated the uh, 6th of December. Dear Mr. Sear, at the last meeting of the Council, of the Bay, we looked at how uh, we, what kind of mandate we can give to our organization. We would like uh, to see more growth in the number of people who visit the gallery, but we have problems with the limited opening hours. For this reason, we will be organizing our uh, exhibitions uh, I as part of the calendar for the tourist season. The gallery is part of the centers of interest on the campus of the university. There's the Interpretation Center, the Tourist Information Center, there's the Belly Coco shop, the Café Lisa, etc. It would be important that all of these points of in interest be part of a, an active wheel and contribute to uh, uh, The, the value of the attractions of the of Bay Saint Marie, we would like to see uh, all these attractions open longer, and uh, these uh, locations can be an interesting stop for uh, uh, all kinds of people who could come and exchange or just relax. Uh, we are hoping to promote the gallery by uh, uh, new exhibitions. We consider the gallery as a, as a jewel. Uh, it, it, should be, it should give a free access to people who want to see uh, works of art and, and it should promote uh, artistic activity. We would like to have a discussion with uh, all the partners all of our partners on how to do all of this. Do not hesitate to uh, contact uh, the management uh, of the Conseil de la Baie uh, in connection with this letter and uh, uh, we and yours very truly, Jan Danny Shea, the president, and Jan Nadon, the executive officer. In terms of the letter, do you want to answer? With your permission, I will answer to um, Madame Nadeau and uh, Danny Shea uh, saying that we are very interested in maintaining the partnership and having a discussion concerning the future of the Rendezvous La Baie. The, this would also, in uh, th there was a and Larry will be included in these uh, uh, discussions. Uh, he, he will be consulted. We may come up uh, with uh, an agreement concerning uh, the hours of opening. It means more hours would mean more costs. So this question comes back to the council in terms of budget. We're going to try to look at that before we approach them. I'm in agreement with uh, what was sent, for example, on the weekend before Christmas with the Bay en Joie. We could perhaps, I everything was uh, locked up. 
this we, we couldn't even uh, get in at uh, six o'clock it was really a shame that we couldn't go and see the works of art uh, uh, on that uh, occasion so perhaps we could organize it so it would be opening when there are events like that this could be part of the discussion we can maybe even set up a committee next 8.2 letter from alternative resource energy authority this letter was uh, sent by uh, Jim Wenzel who's uh, CAO of the town of Mahone Bay I will read it in English what you want to do with that exactly. We could perhaps have uh, Pam do a bit of research. Her experience as uh, energy officer for the municipality would be uh, would set, set us in good stead here. Uh, this uh, wind farm has been cited as an example of best practice uh, at the meeting last uh, spring. It's a good example of um, collaboration between municipalities and it's had a lot of success so I think we should uh, send uh, an email to Pam that so she should explore this opportunity and we'll come back to council with something in greater detail and a recommendation 8.3 letter from Supernova Energy Solutions this letter is from Mr. Bruce, president, who is president of this organization. He m mentions the same program, the PV uh, photovoltaic uh, project. In his email, he says that the program will be announced uh, shortly, and he wants to do a preliminary study to see what a uh, project like that uh, like that in our municipality would look like. He m mentions a number of different criteria, the best site uh, and so on. He would uh, set up a budget and give a advice on what uh, price we should charge and all of this would be preliminary. He said that he would co uh, uh, bill us uh, 5000 perhaps for that. This concerns the program we just mentioned. So if we decide to go ahead, this is a resource. So uh, what we're going to do is uh, um, talk with Pam about this and see what we should do and come back to you with a recommendation to see whether we should for example hire this Mr. Thompson. There's no doubt that there are, that there are good examples of this but there are ex examples which are less good 
and we have to be careful when we spend our dollars uh, as to what we are getting into. So if you're all in agreement. And next, number nine, uh, CAO's report. I, uh, a lot of the projects I discussed last month, the uh, sewer system in Tiggen, we're still working with the engineers and the contractor to uh, the project seems quite complete and the plant is now working so that this last discussions we have uh, with the staff uh, problems we had uh, the church point, the sewer system, we Department of Municipal Affairs, there's a NASCA clear wa clean water wastewater fund. F the project was 198,000. We will uh, ask uh, for a submission for three electric panels and also the purchase of ultraviolet lights that will be done also uh, shortly. The system that we will buy is compatible with the one we're using now that we have in Minis in uh, Belovos Cove and in Matagan. So the system that is now in place in Ch Church Point is a dechlorination system that uses uh, chlorine, which is not the case for Belivoskov and Metagen. So we're aiming to get a compatible system for all three areas. For the uh, project f for uh, the bedrooms at the Veteran Center will start in January. Uh, we Our request to the province will only be studied in February 2017, and from what they're telling us, we might have uh, an answer in March or April. So this being said, they confirmed that we can start the project. And even if they approve the project in April, the uh, expenses we would have incurred before that will be retroactive. So they don't want us to be penalized by s from starting right away. The medical center in Metagen, new sis heating system is operational. We had a few problems in the different zones of the building. We kind of knew this was going to happen. I met meeting train on 29th of December to analyze a work contract to assure the maintenance of the system in the next three years the cost that was given to us and which was approved by council is $1,800 per month so we're looking about 13000 per year uh, for the internet the rural internet we have discussed this already the project f for the sewer system uh, John Thibodeau Road uh, the request was presented to the ACOA in November and our dis we have a discussion with uh, ACOA that was quite positive regarding this project. So we're working in a very close uh, deadlines. We hope to have uh, this money which would be uh, 50 federal, 25 provincial and 25 municipal. The cultural hub there's another uh, request for financing application. On 19th November, it was finished. The discussions up to now were positive for this project. We also have a new tenant there. Le Courier de Novelicos has got to move here on December, has moved December 1st. We have the FRAP. The Association of Métis Québécois, the Festival Acadien de Claire, Transport de Claire, CIFA, the service EMO. So the building is quite full. Uh, the project 
that we're uh, proposing for this is uh, $200,000 for renovations uh, for the collection of uh, uh, we of waste. We are on our third month with the present provider. There was a few challenges at the beginning, but the service now seems to be quite good. The number of complaints that we receive uh, here has diminished uh, considerably S uh, compared to the one we had before and also the volume of uh, waste that we uh, that we acquire for blue bags and recycling has has gone up also when we there was a meeting of waste check in November and the employees of municipality. It will be held later on to uh, <coughs> to talk about how we can do to get a better service. <coughs> this will be held on January 13th. <coughs> uh, financially speaking, the municipality is in uh, a good financial position F since to December 21st. The municipality has eight million one hundred and fifteen thousand dollars of revenue versus uh, expenses of ten billion. The net revenue is one million nine hundred and fifty thousand one hundred forty. Again, from uh, December twenty-first, the municipality has a balance of two point eight billion million in her account and a reserve of the balance in the reserve our operational fund our reserve for capital projects is one million nine hundred thousand dollars and the reserve is three hundred and fourteen uh, and our reserve for gas tax has 100 and 246,000. We just want to see that the 20,000 uh, that we discussed earlier is there in reserve. In, in turn, there's a few points. We have, we're working on the update and the our policies. Right now we're wor working for one uh, conduct called conduct for the staff here and for council. This will be evaluated at the uh, in turn and it will be presented at on the 11th of January to you. The committee is still uh, working on a communication strategy for the municipality both internally and externally we're going ahead and we're also working on uh, the way to modernize our promotional material our business cards so that we use our logo better modernize our branding to show us especially on the use of social media also I uh, come went to most of the meetings that the warden discussed I also met with the, the uh, Southwest Energy in December the rural, rural internet and also uh, discuss that I will discuss a bit later on and then a meeting with Mike Trinacity f uh, regarding one of our programs here and also <coughs> for the application for the veteran center in a few weeks uh, for Finding new doctors, I will be meeting the doctors in the medical center on the 9th of January. 
this is part of the discussions that we have to review the operations of the medical center. We meet regularly to discuss possible improvements. Uh, these are good discussions usually and on the 10th of January there's the REN Oversight Committee. And that's uh, my report. Are there any questions? If there are none, thank you for the report. Stefan, we move to committee reports 10.1, building permits. Planning Advisory Committee. Stefan, it's not long. The committee met on the 14th of December. We invited members of the council to join us. The purpose was to have a last look at the work of the committee concerning the protection of watersheds in the municipality. We also uh, took the opportunity to introduce the new councillors uh, and others who hadn't had uh, the opportunity to uh, participate in the past. Our work is going well. The importance of this session was to plan another public session to engage the public to present our proposals uh, on the uh, establishment of zones to protect uh, drainage basins and to have input on that before we present our recommendations to Council for first reading. This will give uh, a chance to the public to uh, have their say and to come to that meeting and to see what is being proposed by the planning committee uh, asking questions. They can ask questions and give comments in order to reinforce our recommendations to the council. We have no date for this uh, public session, but uh, we will have it by mid-January, I think. So that's the pr that was the purpose of the meeting. Are there any questions? There being none, we move to 10.4, Villa Akajen, Brian. There's no report for the Police Advisory Committee. On the 7th of December, three members of the executive of the Villa Akajen and uh, the administrator, Lucille Maillet, met with uh, four representatives uh, with the uh, Department of uh, welfare and also with the Department of Renewal and we met with five representatives of the province to discuss the next stage of the for the replacement of the villa. We w explained that the management of the villa is responsible f to create a plan and send it to the province which will then be evaluated and we are waiting instructions for how to do this. We were told that we will be having these instructions before Christmas. We still haven't received them. I will have, I will give you uh, an update when I have more information. Are there questions? Thank you, Brian. 10.5 waste check, Councillor Carl, thank you, Mr. Warden. The, c 
the policies committee met during the last few months to change the policies of West waste check. The results uh, came out in November. Uh, then it goes to the board and uh, from then we will be able to use these new policies. I said November. That will be March. I said November, but that will be March. I also want to s talk for a few seconds uh, on a small problem. No, it's a big problem. concerning the green carts that people use to put compost in. Some people some people use plastic bags. These are supposed to, to go into the green cart and it's made it's sold as being usable in the green cart, but the problem with waste check and in other regions is is that we would like that people stop using these green uh, bags. What happens, they're supposedly biodegradable, but it takes a long time before they uh, degrade Ver a long time and and when they put them in the screens of different machines that they use to make the compost these bags twist like this and they go up, end up rolling up around all the pulleys and uh, the machine seizes up and sometimes it takes days to uh, take the equipment apart in order to remove these sacks. So what we recommend to the public is that these bags are being sold in the stores. We can't stop the stores from selling these uh, bags but we would like people who use these green plastic bags, we ask them to use paper bags uh, and these are big enough. This is a big bag and we put it in the green bin and this is what we would like the public to use and not the plastic bags which cause big problems. They, you can find them on sale in most uh, stores in the same places as you can buy the plastic bags and we would like people to use the plastic bags, please. We ask for the cooperation of the public on this. Thank you, Brian, for the policies of waste check. Is the e day to encourage the communities to ad adopt their own policies? The idea is to follow the policies of waste check if possible. If everyone, we are district number seven, if everyone in district seven has the same policies, then when people call waste check, with problems, for example, uh, could be anything. The eggs, do they go into the green car? The waste check office in Yarmouth can answer their questions if everyone's on the same wavelength. So they encourage, waste check encourages all the municipalities in the district seven to use the same policies because it would be easier for the public and for waste check also. Are there any other questions? Thank you, Carl. 
Then we go to new business. It's all motions that were made and committee of council that were put on our website mm. as recommendations that will be recommended to council so public had a chance to go and see them on our website and see what council proposes this week and this meeting so we go to 11.1 <coughs> motion toward the tender for the Clare Veterans Center upstairs bedroom renovations uh, 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 Stefan we invited people to present submissions we only received one from Kevin Como Construction Limited for the amount of $50,944.52 plus HST. Uh, the, amount, the amount was quite close to what we had budgeted, so we there's a motion to accept this. When somebody wants to make a motion, Danny? to draft bailout loaning possible loan program for wells and cisterns. This is simply, as discussed at the last meeting, the province has announced the changes, the uh, changes to the municipal Municipal act which should allow municipalities who wish to do so to establish a, uh, something that would allow the financing the construction of wells and cisterns so uh, we discussed the this but present with Mr. Como Arnold Como and he thought the program was interesting and it went af it sort of came up after the dry summer we had here in the end of the province or so at the last meeting of the committee we decided that we would ask the bylaw committee to look at the possibility to set up a, a municipal and a municipality to give loans for the building of wells and cisterns. Is this somebody who wants to read the motion? discussion on this motion you know all those in favor indicate by saying yes okay, motion carried Kevin Patry motion to adopt the new citizen appointment policy this is uh, we had a practice but no policy regarding uh, we're going to just do what we've been doing at most of our nominations and make a policy out of it. We're still looking at two consecutive terms of three years for committees, municipal committees. And somebody wants to read the motion, Carl? I move that the municipality of the District of Clare adopt the new citizen appointment policy as presented. To second this, uh, seconded by Eric. Is there a discussion on the motion? All those who indicate by saying yes, against, motion carried. Is the policy uh, on the website? It will be put there. It's not there now, but it will be put there on the website. Now that it's been approved by council, we will put it there. Also, a question how. Are we going to make sure 
that somebody is going to uh, check to see that which the terms, when the term ends, terms end, we make an inventory to see which is the m member of the public who are on our committees. So we will do a set up a sheet to uh, manage these. Then 11.4 motion to officially name a, a Bucking Horse Road. Somebody wants to make this motion. Is there a discussion on this motion? I will say it again. I spoke to Stefan. I think it will be put on an agenda soon. Maybe we could find a policy for naming words, but I think we need a policy in place that will put criteria on what kind of names that we will look at. Uh, we don't have any criteria right now, especially the fact that we're a bilingual bowling, bowling Acadian community, I think uh, we should do it. This is all, this would be in the minutes. Uh, is there a discussion on this motion? Not all those in favor indicate by saying yes, against, motion carried. 11.5, the motion to reduce tax account. This is a, a case where a house has burnt. From the when the, the house burnt, we're looking at a period uh, of approximately a year. We found that it was not, it was not just to, to charge the person or the family taxes for the whole year and for the recommendation which one of our employees here is to reduce the, m the amount at half the uh, the amount this happened on uh, December 10th uh, July 10th 2016 we've done it before in uh, similar cases but uh, our approach is consistent with what, with what has been done in similar cases earlier. Will somebody make the propose? I move that the municipality of the District of Clare reduce the taxes for the homeowners of assessment account 0086418 by half of the assessed value of the house for 2016, excluding land, sewer, and septic. In light of the, the July 10, 2016 house uh, fire, which destroyed their home, is there any discussion on this motion? If no, all those in favor indicate by saying yes. Against, motion carried. Uh, motion to write off tax accounts. There's three uh, tax accounts. Again, that staff recommended that we write, write off. I had a discussion with our tax clerk and our financial officer. We also communicated with uh, property evaluation services who confirmed that the, the accounts and the amounts in question and the recommendation that we proposed this evening I move that the municipality of the District of Clare write off the following three tax accounts 08517401, and 0087897. Some 
anybody who seconds this motion. Neil, is there a discussion on this one? As a title of information, the accounts here are not uh, huge amounts. They are accounts that were and all sometimes 75 cents. We're not talking about big amounts of money here. It's just an administrative uh, exercise concerning these properties. Is there any more discussion? Uh, Against? Carried. 11.7. .7. Motion to write a letter of support for the Cedar Lake Wireless Cooperative Incorporated. Evo. I move that the municipality of the District of Clare write a letter of support for the Cedar Lake Wireless Cooperative. Is there a seconder? Neil? Is there discussion on the motion? You want the history? If you allow me, the Cedar Lake Wireless Cooperative organized itself to submit an application to the province for financing under a program announced for six million dollars which is uh, aimed at improving rural internet the purpose of the program is to finance small projects in specific regions, uh, things that can be done fairly quickly because the program is only in place until the end of March 2017. The group has a solution for their region in around Cedar Lake and there's a, a they've asked for a letter of support from of Yarmouth as well, and they obtained it. Is there a discussion? If not, all in favor say aye. Contrary minded, nay. Carried. 11.8 Motion to amend the current lease for the Clare Legion branch. 52. Explanation As you know, it, or maybe not, but in the media, it's been indicated that the Legion Branch 52 has lost its charter and the reason for this is that they refused to give 10% of their poppy fund to the Provincial Nova Scotia Nunavut Command. The other branches in the province send 10% of their fund to this uh, uh, fund and the branch in Sonyville refused to do this for this reason they lost their charter in spite of that the group has organized itself not as a legion but they have created the Clare Veterans Association which is the Association of Veterans of Clare the lease which we have with them is conditional that the group maintain its charter. Given that they lost their charter, this goes against the conditions of the lease, but they want to keep the space, the services that the new association will supply are identical to those supplied by the Legion. They'll be supplying, they'll be supplying the same services, organizing the same activities. The members of will still be members of the at large of the Legion. So the only thing that changes is that they won't be recognized officially as a Legion. Now the owner of the municipality is uh, uh, the municipality which protects them. What they want to do is keep the same physical space and to do that we have to change the language of the lease and the recommendation 
is, is that we respect their request and that we modify the bail in order to allow them to remain in that space. Eric, you want to make the motion? I move that the municipality of the District of Clare amend the current lease for the Clare lease for the Clare Legion Branch 52 to reflect the organization's new name, the Clare Veterans Association. Association des anciens combattants de Clare. There's an error in the motion, but not in the package. Carl. Seconded by Carl. Is there further discussion on the motion? Carl, I would like to say that we don't want the public to think that, that th this is the only s location where this happens. This happen is happening all over Canada. I just wanted to say that Roussel Como, who is the former president of the Branch 52, wanted to share with us his appreciation of the whole group for the willingness of the council to allow them to remain in their space. They're very uh, grateful for that. Is there further discussion? Although, so all in favor, against, motion carried. 11.9. Uh, motion to issue cell phones and to pay vaccination fees. For budget reasons, we want to present this motion for consideration. Basically, it will allow us to uh, to offer a more efficient service, that's the cell phones, and also more, uh, s also a safer more uh, service, uh, through this question of the vaccines, the vaccinations, because they are exposed to a certain level of danger in the work that they do. And they have already been occasions where they've been bitten. This is a preventive measure which we should seriously consider. Is there someone to make the motion, Danny? Seconder, Ivo. Seconded by Ivo. Is there a discussion? Are there being none? All in favor? Against? Carried. Before going uh, to 12, I would like to mention that under new business there was a number of motions. These are items that were brought up at the committee, council and committee. The Council and Committee makes recommendations to the Council. I just want it to be clear to uh, the public that the Council and Committee meetings are also open to the public, and I encourage people to come and listen to the discussions. So I just wanted to send that m message. Everyone is welcome. Before going to the in-camera session, I would like to take the opportunity to wish uh, Merry Christmas to uh, all the citizens of Clare from myself and all the members of the Municipal Council. In the camera, in camera session we have two uh, points, insurance policy 12.1 and 12.2 Clare Firefighters Association. Sa that being said, I'd like to say good evening to the public and a motion to go in camera uh, is in order, proposed, seconded and carried.